The Constitution of the United States of America was written over 200 years ago. In these words, the freedoms and the rights of American citizens are spelled out, preserved, and protected. The powers of the central federal government are divided, checked, and balanced into three divisions. The legislative or lawmaking branch, which includes Congress, the executive, which includes the president, and the judiciary. Only the judicial branch has the authority to determine whether a law passed by Congress or a presidential action is constitutional. The highest court of the judicial branch is the Supreme Court. In civil and criminal cases, its decisions are final. We present now the history and functions of the Supreme Court. The first charter of government for the United States was proposed in 1777, a year after the Declaration of Independence. It was adopted by all 13 states by March of 1781. This charter, called the Articles of Confederation, was very weak. It did not provide for a federal court system. The Articles assumed that the state courts would retain jurisdiction over all civil and criminal matters. Within months of its inception, it was clear that this new system was simply not working. When the Constitution was written in Philadelphia in 1787, the delegates to the Constitutional Convention, George Washington, James Madison, John Marshall, and others, did not spend much time on the federal judiciary. They agreed to provide for a Supreme Court, but did not say how many members the court should have. They left it up to Congress to decide this question, and to decide whether there would be any federal courts below the Supreme Court. The delegates all